good morning students i hope you're doing fine uh, i will be covering a very important topic for you today uh, which is linked with yield management or revenue management first of all let me make it very clear that both the terms are interchangeable yield management and revenue management can be used uh, one for the other as the first slide shows over here demand and supply are basically what drive the yield management or revenue management function for a manager let's take it ahead the definition of yield uh, basically in layman language or in a very common language uh, talks about it becoming a technique which is used by managers to optimize and maximize room revenue as you know that the most exp expensive item in the hotel for sale for a guest is a room uh, that is why the revenue earned from rooms is so very important in fact all the literature that you have studied right from first year second year and now in third year indicates that 70% of the hotel's revenue is earned from sale of rooms and i'm sure that you have done your industrial training in various hotels and you would agree with this so yield management or a revenue management is a technique used by managers to optimize and maximize room revenue for a future period not for the past but for a future period future period includes the present also two or three two or three things which i like to specify over here to make the definition a little more clearer to you is optimization or opt optimizing revenue means that we need to at least attain the benchmarks which we have attained previously if you uh, see the mis the management information system reports of hotels you will agree with me that optimization is very important why because there's a benchmark already set by the hotel in terms of attaining the revenue so figures like mtd month to date or ytd year to date right these two figures or similar figures are indications for the managers to at least attain that much revenue which the hotel has been able to do in the past so that means optimization maximization means exceeding what has already been achieved so that the hotel can be at a profit and of course uh, the future has been highlight highlighted over here because future is totally uncertain uh, you will agree that the hotel's environment nearby areas uh, events uh, mega functions in the cities or major events in the cities have a direct impact on the occupancy of the hotel so getting hold of that information within in advance and using that information uh, for the benefit of the hotel is what the job of the manager entails let's take it ahead how does it work it's a very complex uh, uh, way of calculating what charges you need to put for the next day or for the for a particular period so for to do to do that calculation little more simply uh, we use very high end technology and of course demand and supply play a very very important role if i look at the first point which talks about demand and supply demand is basically the requests which are coming from the guest or the demand which exact which, which exists at the moment or will increase in the future for your hotel and supply is basically number of rooms that are available for sale with you at the hotel and of course the technology does not do the decision making for you the high end technology only facilitates those decisions so the interpretation judgment and experience of the manager uh, clubbed with the interpretation of the technology gives you a close to correct decision and of course as we say the future future is very unpredictable uh, so you can never be very very sure that decision that you are taking right now will be holding good for the future but this is how normally it works so it works upon the demand and supply equation at that particular time use of very very high end technology as well as the interpretation judgment and experience of the managers in this session particularly i will be discussing about three 
principles of yield management or revenue management. In your interim examinations, these questions are bound to come every year. Uh, the first principle that I want to talk about is listed very clearly over here that says different customers are willing to pay a different price for the same product. It's very easy to understand and I'm sure you will agree with it that a lot of guests who come to the hotel come for different purposes and different uh, motives to stay at the hotel. It could be business, it could be leisure, you know, it could be attending a conference, it could be for a family holiday or it just could be a getaway. So they book these hotels, they book your hotel room through different channels. Those channels could be a travel agent, could be a tour operator, it could be through a company or the guest could himself or herself just call the authorized call center of your hotel and book a particular room. Now each of these channels provide different rates. And why is that? Because they enjoy different rates. The agent has a contract with the hotel. The company has a contract with the hotel. All right. And if the if the guest is calling himself or herself, he might get a better rate depending upon the occupancy of that particular day. But one thing is for clear that each of these guests traveling for different motives only want one product, which is called the room. And as you know, that each room category has n number of rooms. You the hotel can logically sell all the rooms at different prices. Of course, there is a benchmark. The racket is the highest possible rate. Of course, we cannot go beyond that. But different rooms in the same category can be sold at different prices and the guest is willing to pay for it. So if this condition is applicable to a product or service, yield management can be applied to that particular product. And rooms is no exception because rooms are different but at the end of the day, the product is the same and it can be sold to different people at the different prices. Let's move ahead to principle number two, which talks about perishability of a product to be highly perishable. Rooms are considered to be highly perishable because the manager only has 24 hours to sell all the rooms available for sale at the hotel. If the rooms are not sold within 24 hours, you actually incur losses. And those losses can only be made good through the revenue earned from the sold rooms. So beyond 24 hours, when the night audit is done, the revenues for a particular day are freezed and the next day starts with a zero. So 24 hours is what the target is with the managers to sell all rooms at the hotel. And this applies for hotels also. This applies for rooms also. Principle number three talks about the inventory to be fixed in nature. The inventory per se over here uh, refers to the number of rooms available for sale. For, so for example, if I have 100 rooms available for sale in the hotel and if on a particular day I have 90 rooms occupied, I cannot remove 10 rooms from my inventory and show 100% occupancy. Likewise, if the uh, if I have 100 rooms available for sale and only and 110 reservations have been made overnight, I cannot add 10 rooms to accommodate those 10 guests. All right. So the inventory has to be fixed in nature. That means you cannot change number of rooms which are available for sale. This applies very good for the hotels also. Another question in this topic before we wind up is uh, the question comes in papers that list various industries where yield management is applied extensively. Hotels and resorts, of course, we just discussed. It is very much applicable. Airlines, railways, multiplexes and communication, telecommunications are the various other industries where yield management is applied extensively. In fact, You'll be glad to know that airline industry was the first industry to introduce yield management. They had, they, they could, they made uh, the tickets available for sale well in advance so that they could fill up their flights to the maximum and utilize the full capacity of the aircraft. All right. Likewise for railways, multiplexes and telecommunication, these industries are what uh, drive yield management to the maximum. 
So I just go back to slide number uh, we talks about principles. So the first principle is about different customers willing to pay a different price for the same product. Principle number two, the product sold is highly perishable. And principle number three, the inventory is fixed. That means if one, two and three are applicable or are available uh, in a particular product or service, you can apply the principles of yield management to that particular good or service. In the upcoming session next time, I will connect with you again and we will talk about revenue management techniques. I'll elaborate on capacity management, duration control and discount allocation because these three techniques are the techniques that normally managers use on a daily basis to maximize revenues. Uh, capacity management talks about selective overbooking, how much to overbook or when can we overbook or when we cannot overbook. Duration control, very concisely, I'll discuss with you right now. It talks about number of nights a guest can book a hotel room and discount allocation is all about maintaining a very healthy discount percentage for a hotel because you and I, we know that hotels function on or they, they thrive on giving discounts. But the discount percentage has to be healthily maintained by the hotel. You cannot go overboard. So all these three techniques we will discuss in the next session. Thank you so much.